Just wondering, I don't know. Uh, could be actually. 18 after 10 o'clock, 22 degrees downtown. I win today, last day of the week, so I'm going to make the most of it. I really am. It is Friday, August the 20th, and uh, let me do this. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and it's an absolute pleasure to have everybody joining us on Facebook Live this morning. Uh, if you're going to watch it a little later on over there on YouTube, you know what to do, right? Yeah, you do actually. Sub, thumb, bell, bingo. Okay, uh, bell notifications when we do these things. Believe me, we've got an important guest this morning coming back to us, good friend of ours, Chris Andreas. Uh, by the way, we're in level four lockdown right now, waiting for the Prime Minister to make a decision on what we're going to do. But you wouldn't think about it <laughs> with the amount of people around here this morning. So really, really good. I've been flying the ship alone for the last few days. It's weird having people back. It is. But, you know, I'm absolutely loving it because today we're joined by Chris Andreas. And the last time we caught up, well, we discussed that the sun comes up. <laughs> Underway. That's a that's going to have to order all that gear to it. Yeah, believe me, bro. Um, we're getting a lot of requests for it. Oh, cool, good yeah. man. Because that's one of those tunes we didn't know what to do with it. We just kind of were like, okay, it's written. What do we do? And uh, I think Dan was the guy, the keyboard player. He just kind of added that offbeat kind of uh, reggae kind of keyboard part, and all of a sudden you had like we're going, okay. Yeah, believe me. This one. Um, our, our audience is. Well, connecting with it, they're starting to get the grips of it, you know what I mean? So, yeah. believe me, I'm, I'm getting quite a few requests for it. Oh dear, what have I done? <laughs> and there. Sorry, I'm watching you, watching me, watching you. Okay. <laughs> Technology, don't you love it? Oh yeah, yeah. when well, it works for me, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, believe me, I'm the same way. If not, um, I ask for help. Yeah, yeah. Usually, yeah, I ask my kid. <laughs> yeah, and believe me, I, I can be texting Paul Mark here at 1, 2 o'clock in the bloody morning. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for him sometimes, I do. I really do. Oh, but, but he's a gem. <laughs> we need him, and we can't live without him. We really can't. <laughs> you're an idiot. You're so, Chris, how's your hand anyway? Is it good for throwing or no? Yeah, no, no, it turns out I'm, I, I'm good, yeah. Nice, yeah. nice, because I kind of walked in halfway through that conversation. Yeah, no, I just, um, I, I kind of wrenched my thumb last night, and uh, um, so I just thought, ooh, I got a gig in a couple of days here, and that's my strumming hand, and the best way to find out how I'm feeling is I'll go out and I'll, I'll uh, throw this baby around a bit, and I did. And I had no problem throwing it, so it's the thumb's good, good to awesome. go. Awesome, awesome. Um, <clears throat> believe me, we're not even doing gigs here at the moment. We were, I think, we've this got a little complacent, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I have, this will be what maybe the second show I've done this year, really, and mm -hmm. it'll, and it might be my last, you know. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, but believe me. It is what it is. It completely that. I'll just stop myself away in the studio and record, record, record. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'll do that. You will, so. Hey, that way you keep coming back. I keep, well, they, well, that's keep, what I, they keep I, me employed. As long as, that, you know, as long as they're sounding good, and I wouldn't <laughs> say anything I think sounded good. So. Well, believe me, bro, that keeps me employed. You know what I mean? So I thank you a lot. <laughs> Let's go to the desk.
That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, 23 after 10 o'clock, 23 degrees. You know, officially I win this morning, I'm really, really happy about that, I really am. Don't get to win often, Barbara's usually the uh, gun at predicting the temperatures. I think she's got a uh, hotline to Mother Nature actually, so uh, today I'm really, really wrapped. It's Friday, coming into a brand new weekend, August 20th. And uh, today I am so, so happy to be talking all the way back over to, in Vancouver Island over there in British Columbia to a good friend of ours, Chris Andreas. Chris, welcome back, my friend. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. It's and been like forever. Yeah, it, it kind of feels like it. I mean, well, maybe a month or two anyway. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of drinking time in between then. Yes, yes, there has. Yes, yeah. there has. Yeah, exactly, and uh, well, you know, uh, Chris is an expert uh, knife thrower as well. Uh, do you call it a knife thrower? I throw knives. Yeah, well, so, has it got an official name to this particular sport? Uh, I mean, no, I mean, th there's different techniques that have their own different names, but I mean, overall, just, th you know, some people call it thunk life, because every time you stick the blade, it goes thunk. But, um, yeah, I'm just throwing knives. Okay. Yeah. Very, very cool. Uh, do a lot of you actually do it over that way? Do you get together and have a sport about it? Uh, Is there such a thing? Yeah, it, uh, where I live, the, the big popular thing is uh, axe throwing. Um, there's a couple of axe throwing clubs, the knife throwing thing. Not so much where I live, but I mean, there's clubs all over the world. Like, uh, I'm involved in multiple groups. Uh, so, yeah, there's guys out there that are just doing things with knives that are just like out of a ninja movie, man. Just, um, <laughs> you, you know, I just get this vision when you said that of somebody running back with the forge zigzagging all over the place. And here's Chris. I'm going to get you. <laughs> Wait for him to get to the middle. Yeah. Just throw seconds. Pick him up from 300 meters. Don't worry. Boom. Gotcha. <laughs> He's got an arm. Uh, but having said that, my friend, Sun comes up now. We uh, just played this. We released this not so long ago, but let's refresh our audio audience's memories and tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, uh, Sun comes up. I kind of wrote it as a, um, uh, yeah, kind of a, it's hard to kind of put it in words. It's like um, um, a relative of mine passed away. Uh, and I had, I, you know, I recently talked to that person, but then I hadn't for a while. And, you know, now you always say, hey, you know, I'll catch up with you soon. And uh, and I just thought I'd write a song kind of about that, you know, about um, um, maybe missing that opportunity, to, you know, to say something to uh, somebody you love and then you never get that chance. And then kind of working through that and at the end of it saying, in the end, the sun still comes up. You know, I get that. I really do. Now, I've got to ask you. It, it's got a reggae feel to it. Was it was it purposely written that way? Well, no, I, I, yeah, exactly. No, man, I, I kind of wrote it. Um, well, I never see. I, 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 I just have a way that I write, and then I put it in front of the band, and I say to everybody, "Just do what you want." Like, like I want to hear what you interpret. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, direct the the guys. I just bring in the skeleton and say, "Let's throw some muscle and meat on it." And uh, and we were just having a little problem trying to figure out, you know, where, where the groove was in that song. And then Dan uh, Conero, the, the keyboard player, he just put this reverse reggae thing there. And that's made, you know, and then that just reversed the whole beat. And uh, and it was like, cool, I'm, I'm good with that. You know, a happy hour. Yeah, yeah. Believe, believe me, I am absolutely loving it. Now, uh, I've got to ask you at the same time, Dan, being the keyboardist on that last track, is he the artist on... Good line as well, uh, because he yes. does a superlative job. I've got to be honest with you, but I'm really, really fascinated. In fact, I'm really taken by this. Uh, your ex player, your guitarist, your lead guitarist, this man is an absolute gem. He's got such a touch to his music. Tell me about this man. Um, well, his name's Louis Anios, and um, um, we've been playing together for a couple of years now. And uh, he was in a band called uh, Light Bulb Vaporizer, which was really a, an instrumental band right like a like kind of a you know a, a just uh just him just rip it so um you know i had gone from doing songs that were around three minutes and you know 25 seconds to when i got him in and i realized what an absolute beast he was on guitar i said 
I'm just going to open up the gates, bro, and I'm going to let you do what you do. And if these songs click in at seven minutes, well, that's just how she's going to be. And uh, I'm glad I did that because, you know, it, you can't bury that kind of stuff, man. That, you got to let that stuff shine. You know, I am right there with you, brother, man. It, you're preaching to the choir right now. And uh, I will play seven-minute tracks. I really, really <laughs> will. I, I have no problem with that at all. <clears throat> uh, but I've got to ask you, the title of the uh, uh, of the song, Good Line. Now, yeah. tell me, what kind of line is a good line? Well, you see, it, you know, it's a, kind of a play of words. It's a, the, 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 the title of Good Line is really me just saying, I didn't come from a good line. You know, it says in the course, you know, uh, you know uh, chaos and fear that followed me. So it's just, you know, talk, somebody talking about, you know, they didn't necessarily come from a, a, a good place, you know, in life. And um, and so this is a song about their struggle, you know, trying to get through life and explaining in the chorus. I didn't come from a good life, you know, so you make the best out of what you got. Now, I got to be honest with you, Chris, I win this bet because some of them says, oh, it's about uh, that white powder stuff that you use uh, through your. Yeah. Uh, no, it isn't. I knew, Chris, I knew it wouldn't be. I really, really did. Now, tell us about the lyrics. What? brought the lyrics together. How did you write this? Um, I, I, well, it, it was kind of, a, if I look back on it now, because I, I, I wrote all these songs during that lockdown, you know, really, and so uh, maybe I was being a little reflective on, you know, on things, um, um, you know, uh, yeah, after a while, you know, when you're slogging away at something year after year after year after year, and, you know, you're getting so close to, your, you know, where you want to be, and then all of a sudden, boom, Right. That's done. You're gone. That's gone now. You know, uh, it can be heavy. And so that was maybe a little bit of my way of working through that, you know, kind of going, you know what, like, you know, I'll just work with what I have. You know, I'll just do with what I got and just get up every day and one foot in front of the other. As we all can do these days, I've got to be honest with you, Chris, uh, and good on you for doing so. Uh, having said that, it has been a bit of a trouble getting this particular track. I've got to be honest with you. Uh, we, there was a few issues left, right and centre. We got those sorted. Believe me, we really did. When I heard this, absolutely flipped sideways. Love this track. And I'm hoping that he's going to come back and do some more in the future very, very shortly. Got to say hi to Sean Simpson as well. Love you, babe. Thank you for joining us this morning. Here. And I'm very proud to release to the world... Chris Andreas and his brand new track, Good Line. Well, Chris, speaking of brand new tracks being released, you see Elton John's releasing a new track. Is he? <laughs> yeah, well, it's, huh? a, it's actually a, a cover of his old track. Um, he's dedicating it to all of those people who fell off that plane in Which Afghan, one? the Afghans. Well, See that footage? Yeah, Jeez. yeah, yeah. He's dedicated it, called it uh, "Sandal in the Wind." <laughs> it's a special face in hell. You, you got him to believe you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> I know I'm naughty. I, I know. I couldn't yeah. resist it. <laughs> I really couldn't resist it. Had to do it. I'm sorry, folks. You know. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, um, a couple last was it a couple weeks ago? You guys had a big uh, a rain event there, like power outages and stuff. Mm. Yeah, I or was did. that she lives? Yeah, no, that's um, where I live. I yeah, think. believe me, it, there was power outages all over the place at one stage there. But uh, our local, well, not our local, but the um, power company in Auckland got caught out. What they were doing was they were drawing back power from people's homes and they drew too much and it just blew everything to pieces. Jeez. So, <laughs> like the internet, yes, they do slow you down. Yes, they take it back. <laughs> I was just checking on that, making sure I was getting it right. Oh, yeah. In the first verse. <laughs> yeah. yeah I was thinking, Hold on, it's gone pink. How come it's... Oh, God, that's a big intro. It was a struggle to get it this is. track. I, I, yeah, I think it's like a three and a half minute intro or something. Something like that, yeah. Believe me. 
it's a. I mean, we just we just don't self edit. <laughs> we just go, you know. Hey, it sounds good. You know. I mean, it, look, you know, uh, all my brothers used to do it. Skinner did it. You know. I mean, album rock. It was different, man. You, you didn't have to have a three minute, fifteen second song. You could. It was, you know, whatever it was. Exactly. That's yeah. what I, and believe me, I'm loving the, cre the creativity of not only yeah. yourself and. and but you've surrounded yourself with absolutely superb artists. Well, the, your drummer is superlative. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Your keyboard is yeah. splendid, beyond belief. Uh, your guitarist, yeah. uh, and of course yourself. And I, I presume yeah. you were doing the acoustic. Is that right? Yeah, I do, yeah, I do the acoustic. Um, and, uh, you know, um, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's like five guys, and each guy kind of brings his own thing to the table. But um, you know, it is and, 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 it, and it helps that you know, um, uh, you know, we're able to. Everyone's been doing it for a long time, so we're able to kind of get into a room with, in a relatively short amount of time, flesh a song out, and then go into the studio and kind of and hit it. You know, so you know that just that makes. And we also have a guy um, who does all of our engineering, uh, uh, Anthony, and uh, um, you know. Uh, Without him, man, like, uh, you know, we wouldn't sound like we do, so I give it all to Tone Bone Marone as far as the, how we sound. Is he the Hills boyfriend? One of the, is he what? Is, his, is one of Anthony. the girls, uh, Anthony, is he the boyfriend of one of the girls out of the band The Hills? No. Oh. Okay, no. all right, wrong Anthony. No. Yeah. He's an island boy. I think The Hills are from the mainland. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Are. okay, yeah. yeah, no, fair enough, uh, but nice that you know who the hills are, bro. And, hey, listen, how would you, next time you're in the studio with a recordable 58, how would you like to give me a voice drop and say, hi, it's Chris Andreas on Galaxy 107 or something like that? Yeah, I'd love to. Brilliant. I'll, to, I'll do it to you. Yeah, please, please do, because uh, we want to keep your name rolling here at Galaxy, you know uh, what I mean? Yeah. You bet, man, I, you don't have to ask me that twice. <laughs> Do it. Do a yeah. couple. Do it. Do a couple. A couple of variations. Do do something. Maybe introducing a song or something like that. We'd love to be able to add it in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Of course, I'll do that. I'll get on that today. Actually. Awesome. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Gosh, it's hot in here. Oh, right. It's it is. nice. Well, for you, it is. Yeah. Got extra person breathing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the extra That'll be what it is. There's an extra man. person in here. You breathing. call this breathing. <laughs> First time multiple people in the studio. Everybody's. Well, normally we don't have the pleasure of having Mark with us, you know, so it's really, really nice to have him on board this morning. Even though we're in lockdown, we're, you okay? We've got Terry on Good the couch. Going out and down, you know, I was never okay. Around. It was warm. No, it was like, you know? Yeah. Well, just, just yeah. your hand. There, there she is. <laughs> That's that's the voice in my head waving at you. <laughs> yeah, Journey, Journey has an arm. Yeah, she's yeah. armless. It's an arm that we just wave around. <laughs> he's armless. <laughs> and he's Chris. Oh, <laughs> we're going to Georgia next, Chris. You are you? Yeah, we're meeting up with a band uh, called Whosoever South. Um, they're a sort of a, a country rap, hip hop. Christian. Christian. They're Christian. Christians. Literally, right. they're Christians. Good. And um, believe awesome me. Awesome music. Gonna be, nice. gonna be interesting to talk to these people, believe me, because they have some fantastic awesome music, music yeah. they do. Mm -hmm. Let's get yeah. back to the desk. <laughs> You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, 22 away from 11 o'clock, 22 degrees downtown. And, uh, well, the weatherman, 16 degrees, didn't stand a chance, 15 degrees actually. Friday, August 20th, 
And uh, Chris, I've got to say, uh, I can't give your uh, guitarist enough accolades. That's an absolutely out-of-the-box gem piece of work right there. Uh, now, I'm hoping that you're going to continue this role and bring me a yes. new one in the next couple of weeks or so. Yes, we'll have something. We, we should have that uh, mixed up and ready to go by... Uh, where are we, August, sometime in September, I would imagine, yeah. Actually, a couple. I mean, I got a couple, of, uh, and then, you know, and then it's back into the studio, and, you know, it's just the cycle never ends. I love that. Like, I really... <laughs> you just want to keep uh, keep that 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 that, uh, that ball rolling. Yeah, we, we really, really do want to keep that rolling. Uh, but at the same time, you see, that means I stay employed that much longer, which is always, you know, nice for me, i got to be honest with you. Uh, but having said that, uh, how's the COVID thing over there? Are you looking at doing any shows anytime soon? I got, yeah, I'm doing a show in uh, two, uh, on Saturday down at uh, in Victoria. Um, it's a private show, so it's um, reserved tickets only, and I think it's almost sold out. And, you know, depending on how everything goes, I, I have a show in uh, October, uh, um, which will be uh, kind of the, the album release party uh officially so but who knows by october what's going on but hopefully fingers crossed yeah <laughs> fair enough too my friend it really really is uh but we're gonna have to move on my friend uh, we do have to go over to yeah. georgia very very shortly but first of all i gotta say thank you so much for joining me here again my friend it's always always a pleasure catching up with you chris it really is uh love to jimmy as well i can't forget yeah. jimmy <laughs> no he won't let you. <laughs> yeah, no, he won't actually. Uh, but Chris, hang in there right now. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go back to the station. Galaxy. One